The upside here is that when the quail witnesses the end of everything she's worked for, she'll also witness the end of you and your friends. It's not over yet. Oh, but it is. The servers are on lockdown. And if you're thinking of trying to escape, don't. I'm activating the death floor. <laughs> Whoops, wrong room, hang on. Now, stay put or fry. Guys, just think about basic training. We've gotten out of this before, we can do it again. New circumstances, Anna. but- How'd you cut the rope? After all our escape room problems, I invented this special hair clip. It's called Cam's Multi-Purpose Hair Clip with assorted tools to deal with any dangerous situation, including bad hair days. It's super cute. Muy buena! We're free! Serious electricity. That's why they took our shoes. Barefoot equals barbecued! Not if we use this. I don't know how or why you're going to use me, but this is so exciting! Sorry, Addison, not you. My skateboard's rubber wheels won't conduct electricity. Cameron Coral, you are all kinds of prepared. That was awesome! Way to go! All right, Cam. That girl makes something so scary seem so it's okay, guys. Don't worry about me. We're not leaving without you. You won't have to. Wood is not affected by electricity, which means this bench should do. with tricks up her sleeves. Six years in the Barcelona Junior Gymnastics team. Let's find that server room. Eight minutes to innovate data release. Addison, pull up a thermal image of Havoc. The blue indicates the coldest part. The server room is in the basement. There's so many guards. Addison, pull up the security cameras surrounding the building. That's it! If we can't get to the service from the inside, we can from the outside. That delivery ramp leads directly to the basement. And right into the server room. WCCTSLWTFC. You're right, we can crash the servers literally with our tech fair car. I wanted to break it to you gently. If we can get the car inside the server room and rev the engine high enough, the water reservoir will build enough steam to fry the servers. But the car's in the lab and there's no time to go get it. And even if we could, who's going to drive it? None of us have our license. Addison can. Yes, I can! Wait, I can? I install the computer system into the car. I can program Addison to drive it remotely. Great, but there's an electronic gate restricting access. Kim and Adri, you guys need to find a way to get that gate open. Havoc's security control room is here. On it. We're just going to need a few things. I'm going after Lazarus. Alone? This is my bottle. I'll call Cam and Brian and they'll meet us tonight. Michaela! Maddie? What was your sister doing here? I don't know. Suspect approaching at 10 o'clock. Question, are we talking about our location or that she's showing up an hour from now? Don't worry, chicas, I'll work with her. The police should be here any second. I called in an anonymous tip. Busted. 
Excuse me, Elite Manager. Okay, so these T-shirts aren't American-made. That can't be a crime. T-shirts? I do not need spell check to know that is so wrong. The only criminal here is the idiot who printed these shirts wrong. Well, this bust was a bust. Which is fun to say, but actually more disappointing. None of this makes any sense. Well, somebody's still in those three T's, and they're still out there. Hi. Hello. Uh, I saw you outside uh, just before. Um... I'm Kyle. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, really nice kick out there. Um. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. A spinning ball deflects the air rushing by it, and the air responds by deflecting the ball through the curve. It's called the Magnus Effect. The tree was 22 feet from Justin, so traveling at 50 miles per hour, he only had 0.3 seconds to respond. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I will see you um, later. Bye. Flawlessly handled, Michaela. Come on, Addison. Be honest. Hey, you asked. Basics by training is not easy. But helping you fit in? That will be our assignment most difficile. I know we can do it this time. Two minutes. There's got to be a way out of here. There is. So, how do we get up there? Adri, do you still have your nail polish? Hmm? Metallic rose or ruby sunset? I carry extra in case of emergency. This is clearly an emergency. The nitrocellulose polymers in the polish will act as a binding agent. Or we could just use my super glue. Why didn't you start with that? One minute. What if the window's sealed? Guess we'll find out. Ten seconds. I know we can figure this out. This place can't be completely sealed. We'd run out of air, right? Wait, if air is coming in, it has to be going out. Right, I need to borrow your necklace. Michaela, I need to rust the leg of that metal chair. Ahora. Now we need something that we could use to burn, to make some smoke. Burn my socks. Although, fair warning. We may regret it. One minute. When aluminum reacts with rust, it creates thermite, which burns at over 2,000 degrees centigrade. Mira! The smoke trail is venting through that seam in the wall. Perfecto. Uh, Ember? Hello? Wow, this place is amazing. One minute, we're in the lab. In un instante, we're in the jungle. Scary jungle. <gasps> Emoji wide eyes, open mouth face. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my Emberarium. Oh, don't y'all worry about Horace. He's all bark, no bite. I mean, he is a Venus flytrap, but he's got a very sensitive stomach. Last time he sucked in a bug, he was sick for a week. This is Priscilla and Lady Hallengate. Uh-oh, do I gotta separate you two? 
Embryoph to Embryophsida are having some personal issues. So, regarding the 3 T mineral thefts, as you may or may not know, so much of our technology and electronics rely on 3 Ts because they're able to pack high capacitance into very small volumes. She means the ability of a system to store an electric charge. That's what I said. For instance, our tablets, phones, laptops, video cameras all contain tantalum, which allows the circuitry to function smoothly. And tungsten's used on everything from cell phones to laptop screens to light bulbs. So you can see why they're so valuable. That could be the motive behind the stolen shipments. Ember, you sure know a lot about earth sciences. I know all about what makes up Mother Earth. Minerals are her children too. Anyway, the problem is that in some countries around the world, like the Congo and Africa, these same three Ts are called conflict minerals, meaning the money from the mines where the minerals are found and later sold are used for warfare, which puts these poor miners and their families in incredible danger, which really rolls my socks up, if you know what I mean. Sure. Roll rolls your, your socks? socks? No idea. I'm just so glad I'm a part of this team now. Mark my words, we'll find those three T thieves and make them disappear. Um, we don't really disappear, people. Okay, find those guys. Hog time, mother, make them beg for mercy. Don't really do that either. Find those guys and call the police. Can't we vault? I always wanted to tie a hog. <laughs> We need intel on the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey, get a move on, sailor. He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the not thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant? Often, often mistaken, mistaken for trees? trees. Oh, look at us! Oh, Fondy over banana! <laughs>